आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते Welcome to Unravel the Thread, a podcast for people who want to apply the Yoga Sutras to yoga practice and to life today. Available online at simple-yoga.org, where you can also find courses, articles, videos, and guided meditations to enrich your practice. I am Ruben Vasquez, your companion on this journey of exploration. On today's episode, we continue our journey through the second chapter of the Yoga Sutra with the sutras presenting the effects of practicing the Niyamas with Sutra 244 on the effects of wisdom, Swadhyaya. Sutra 44 in chapter 2 says, Deepening your understanding of yourself and embodying wisdom, Swadhyaya results in communion with Supreme Being. Knowing yourself, your tendencies and patterns in body, mind, emotion, and breathing empowers you to participate mindfully and wholeheartedly in your own life. This meaningful engagement with life offers you many opportunities to witness the complex interrelationships between your ideas, emotions, breath, and actions. It also affords you the perspective to notice the elegant interconnections between all of life. This nuanced orchestration of all the forces of life is an adaptive and responsive dance that influences how everything moves. Life is the manifold manifestation of Supreme Being. The whole complete, most exalted, and all-encompassing expression of being. Some people would call it life's perfection. Others may call it the ineffable, source, spirit, or God. Is your study of true wisdom and your study of yourself leading you into a comprehensive understanding of yourself, your relationships, human nature, all of nature, and the universe? How are you embodying a deeper understanding of yourself and of life? To what extent are you honoring the forces of nature? How do you enter communion with life's wisdom in your personal practice? Are you aligning with life's wisdom in your everyday decisions and actions? How are you honoring life in your interactions? As usual, one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it. You can choose to chant it in its traditional form with some of the words coming together. Swadhyaya Deshta Devata Samprayoga. Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Swadhyaya Deshta Devata Samprayoga. Swa Atyayat Ishta Devata Samprayoga 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 Thank you 
Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will continue by exploring the effects of practicing the Niyamas with Sutra 245 with the results of humility. Please remember that you can find more information, yoga courses, and many free resources, including articles, videos, and guided meditations at simple-yoga.org. I would appreciate it if you could share this podcast with others. Thank you. Until next time. Namaste.